What's up everybody? We are Deanna and Phil. Deanna's from the United States and I'm from Germany and we are currently in the United States. And in this video, the German is going to try root beer float for the first time. Yeah, let's go. I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, so I called a few different diners in this area and none of them had root beer float. So we're gonna go to one that I've never been to before, which is a Wisconsin fast food chain called Culver's. And they make their own special root beer float recipe. So we're gonna go and try a few of the burgers and root beer float while we're there. Yes, I like that idea. Root beer float, but also a burger. Now hiring. Everybody's hiring in the US. Everybody has these signs out. We are hiring. Woohoo! I hope it's open. <laughs> <laughs> Root beer float. All right, so we got all the goods. We got the Calvo's Deluxe Bacon Burger. We got- It's a uh, double burger. We got Wisconsin cheese turds. <laughs> cheese, cheese, cheese curds. <laughs> and we got a Calvus German pretzel burger and the root beer float, which I'm gonna try in a minute. But we're gonna start with their signature. Apparently, their signature is the butter burger, and this one is the best version of the butter burger. We got two patties. Um, it's mediocre heavy. The bun feels pretty oily. It looks actually pretty good aesthetically, very pleasing. We got cheese on it. We got lettuce and tomato, some onion, some mayonnaise on the bottom, and pickles. Yeah. yeah. Let's see how good that is. Mm. It's on the fattier side. Let's let me go in for a second bite. Bite number two. So I really like the burger. The bun is a brioche bun. It's very um, it's not very bouncy. If you press it down, it stays down. If you know what I mean. The top part of the burger, the upper half, is very oily, but it tastes very good. And then the lower part is very fresh. So overall. This is a fairly good burger. I also like that we went double because the patties themselves, they're not that thick. On the burger scale, if Five Guys is a 9.0, I would probably rate this a 7.6. So one thing, I don't even know what it is, Wisconsin cheese curds. Yeah, uh, I figured we should get something from Wisconsin since this is a Wisconsin fast food chain. Exactly, Wisconsin fast food chain, cheese curd. It looks like it's just uh, deep fried cheese. Wow, look at that. Look at that cheese pull. Ooh. Really? Mm-hmm. These are better than they look. They're not as dry as they look. Maybe with a little bit of ketchup. They're more seasoned than you think. The outside doesn't look as seasoned, but it kind of is. It could be still a little bit more moist on the inside, a little more gooey, but yeah, they're also not that bad. Look at these things. You got cheese, battered and fat, and then you dip it in sugar. This, this just screams heart attack. All right, root beer float, it's time. My first root beer float ever. I think we have root beer in Germany, but it's very not so popular, not that common. And I guess root beer float is just root beer with vanilla ice cream in it. Look at that, that's the vanilla ice cream. Deanna said I really, really need to try a root beer float. So here it is, first time. That's interesting. It doesn't hit me as amazing immediately. Just go for it like this. So I think I'm not the biggest fan of root beer. If I get the just the root beer sip, it doesn't taste awesome to me. But if it mixed with the ice cream, and I guess there's some whipped cream on it or not, I'm not even sure, then it comes nicely together. So root beer floats, I think probably way better than pure root beer. I'm here to tell you how good this root beer float is. So, root beer is made from bark of a sassafras tree. It's also a carbonated drink with a lot of sugar. And when I started to look up Culver's in general, it said that this was started by a husband and wife couple who owned their first fast food restaurant, A&W, which is a very popular root beer company here. So, it has that root beer kick, that, that, that bitterness to it. It's a nice zing, but it's not as strong as some of the root beer that I've had. I think it's good. I also haven't had a root beer float in like, I think 10 years. It's been a very long time. So what would you rate that? I would give it a solid 8.0. All right, and since you're very familiar with the German cuisine now, I want you to be the first to try the Pretzel House burger. Wir haben ein Brezelbon hier. 
brezel bro brochen, bacon that. und Käse und we ordered the single patty instead of the double. They offer you a double with everything. Okay. All right, go, go. let's give it a try. There's some type of sauce oozing out of it. Second bite. I don't know if you'd find this in Germany. Good or not? I don't know. It's okay, it's just very heavy for me personally. I think I would like a little more freshness on the burger. It's very greasy. The patty is thin, so maybe the double would be nice to add to the ratio to make the ratio better. But the sauce is nice. It's got a nice tangy sauce to it. It looks nice. Yeah. Wait. My turn. Root. Wisconsin cheese turds. It's fried cheese. Exactly. We like to fry everything here. This might be my favorite thing. Is that weird? <laughs> You can never go wrong with frying stuff, and also you can never go wrong with cheese. Wow. Mm. I like this one a lot. <gasps> the French brioche better than the German pretzel. Just quickly as a comparison, I'm gonna try the pretzel burger. It's a very compact burger, you can't really spill much with this thing. We got the sli uh, slice of cheese, we got the bacon, and yeah, you're right, the sauce is good. I didn't even see that in the beginning. Yeah, I didn't either. Wow, look at those bites. Those are big bites. Mm. Make out with it, why don't you? I was uh, surprised that you didn't like it that much. I expected less. I really like it. I like the sauce better than on the other burger. I think you're right, maybe two patties. This would kill it with some lettuce, tomato, onion on it. Exactly, I think that's what it needs. Like this one's a little fresher. I think this one has a better taste. It just needs a little bit of freshness. It's a very dense, heavy, oily burger. I like the sauce uh, in but it. It's good. What did I rate that? 7.6? Yeah. So I would rate this a 7.5. If this would have the lettuce and the fresh stuff on it, it would be an 8. It would be uh, definitely the better burger, in my opinion. So for me, like the burger is very good. The pretzel burger, also very good, almost equally as good. The cheese curds, also good. None of it is mind blowing, but overall very nice experience. And then the root beer float, I love the vanilla ice cream. I'm not a big fan of the root beer, sorry. The more ice cream in the root beer, the better. But it's interesting, it's definitely something you can, you can drink, so. It's my experience, first root beer float ever at Culver's. One thing that I really like in America here is that you always get sauces for free. In some restaurants in Germany, you have to pay for every little satchel of sauce. If you're a sauce fan like I am, then it's just way better. And the second even better free thing is the water. Always free, still water, with or without ice, for you, all you can drink. That's just awesome. Actually, that was 25 cents. Was it? <laughs> yeah, they charge you for the cup usually. <gasps> so we bought a cup, it's ours now. Yeah. All right. First time at Culver's was pretty good. I'd never been before. I didn't even know we had a Wisconsin fast food chain making it down here to South Carolina. And I didn't realize how popular they were until I started looking up root beer floats in this area. <laughs> I would not order root beer again, but root beer floats, then yeah, that's definitely better. But overall, this was a nice experience and we're gonna continue make more US videos like this in the future because we're finally in the US. We can go around and experience a lot of things and I'm so curious to try a lot of food to see a lot of things and just to do a lot of things here in the United States of America with the warm weather yes as always thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time bye 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 a big thank you to everyone who watches our videos and supports us and a special thank you to our patrons for supporting us and helping us to make videos like these we hope you guys are all staying safe during this crazy time and we'll see you in the next video bye